Sairam children, I hope you all are preparing for your exams. Yes, your online exams, you all must be preparing for that. Okay, now today we are going to start with the revision, English revision. Yes, let us see how much we are prepared, how much we can recollect of what we have studied. Okay, so today we will start with the revision of chapter 1 of a new voices book Peter enters the garden okay children we will be starting with the revision of chapter 1 Peter enters the garden children before we start your online exam will be fully objective that means there will be MCQ questions all the questions will have multiple options and you just have to select the correct option. You don't have to write anything. You don't have to type anything. Just read the question and there would be three to four options given. You have to select the correct option and click on that option. Okay? Understood children? That is how your exam is going to be. You don't have to type anything. You don't have to write anything. So... Children, read the lesson thoroughly. Okay, whatever your exam, whichever chapter is there for your exam, read the lesson thoroughly. Know who are the characters in the lesson, what are the roles played by them, what is spoken by them, what are the actions done by each character. Keep a note of all these things when you read the lesson. Okay, so that you can easily answer the multiple choice questions okay so shall we start with the revision choose the correct options okay select the past tense of there are some words given from the lesson we have to select the correct past tense of that word okay the first one is plan p l a n plan we have to write the past tense of plan. So what will be the past tense of plan? P-L-A-N-N-E-D planned. P-L-A-N-E-D planned. P-L-A-N-D planned. What is going to be the correct option? Yes. P-L-A-N-N-E-D planned. The past tense of plan is P-L-A-N-N-E-D, plan. Now, I will go to plan and click on it. Yes, I will select plan by clicking on that circle given over there, right? Can you see that? So, when you click over there, that answer gets selected. Understood, children? You have to select your answer by clicking on that. Yes. Next one. F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N. Frighten. F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N. Frighten. Now what's the past tense of frighten? F-R-I-G-H-T. Fright. F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-E-D. Frightened. Or F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N. Frightened. What should be the correct answer? F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-E-D Frightened is the correct answer. So what should I do? I will go to Frightened and I will select it. Yes? So the past tense of Frighten is Frightened. The past tense of Frighten is Frightened. Next one, Go. G O go. So, what is the past tense of go? Gone, going, or went. I go to school every day. So, what will be the past tense of this? I went to school yesterday. So, what is the past tense of go? Went. So, I will click on went. E A T eat. E A T eat. 
So what is going to be the past tense of eat? A T E ate. E A T E and eaten. E A T I N G eating. What should be the past tense of eat? A T E ate. So let's go to ate and select it. A T E ate. I ate my lunch in the afternoon. Yes. Done. Now let's move to the next option question. Select the correct antonyms of the following words. Select the correct antonyms of the following words. Some words are given. Options have been given. Yes. Three answers are given for each word. We have to select the correct word. How will we select? By clicking on that word, we are going to select the answers. Antonyms means opposites. Okay. So, we are going to write the opposites of these words. Okay. Straight. S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T. Straight. What is the opposite of straight? C-R-O-O-K-E-D. Crooked. C-U-R-V-E-D. Curved. E V E N even. So the opposite of straight is C R O O K E D crooked. C R O O K E D crooked. Yes, and I have selected it by clicking on it. You have to think, select the answer, and select it by clicking on the answer. Okay. U N D E R under. U N D E R under. So, what's the opposite of under? T O P top. A B O V E above. D O W N down. What will be the opposite of under? Above. A B O V E above. So, I'll go there and click on it and select it. Understood children? The next one, after. A-F-T-E-R, after. What will be the opposite of after? In front of, below or before? After the school, before the school. Yes, I go to play after the school. I do my studies before my school. Okay. So, before. So, go to before. Select it. And let's go to the next one now. Who said the following to whom? Yes. There are sentences from the lesson given. You have to think. Recollect who said the sentence. And to whom did that person say? Okay. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Your father had an accident there. And he was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now who said this? Mrs. Rabbit to Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. Mrs. Rabbit to herself. Or Mrs. Rabbit to Peter. What is the correct answer? Do you all remember the story? Are you able to recollect? Yes. Mrs. Rabbit said this to Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. So which is the correct answer? The first one. So we will click it and select the first option. Understood children? Yes. Now let's go to the next question. Stop thief. Stop thief. Who shouted this? Mr. McGregor to Peter. Mrs. Rabbit to Peter. Or Mr. McGregor to Mopsy. Yes, somebody shouted stop thief when they saw that person was eating vegetables in the garden. So who was that? Whose garden was it? 
Mr. McGregor's garden. So he shouted. At whom did he shout? He shouted at Peter or he shouted at Mopsy? Correct. He shouted at Peter. So Mr. McGregor to Peter. So let us select this option. Mr. McGregor to Peter. Okay children, are you all able to understand? Yes, you have to select by clicking on the option, by clicking on the answer. There are three answers given. One answer is right and the other two answers are wrong. So you have to select which is the correct answer by clicking on that answer. Yes? So now let's go to the next question. We have to select true or false. Yes, we have to select true or false. There are sentences given from the lesson. Okay, we have to hear it out, read it out, think over, try to recollect whether this is true or false, think properly and then select the correct answer. Yes. The first one is, Peter was a good little bunny. Peter was a good little bunny. Now tell me children, is this right? Was Peter a good little bunny? No, Peter was a naughty bunny. Yes, do you remember? Peter was a naughty bunny. Yes, he didn't listen to his mother. And he went into Mr. McGregor's garden. Yes or no? So this sentence is false. So I am going to select the option false by clicking on the option. Okay. Go to the next one. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail were Peter's siblings. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail were Peter's siblings. Siblings means brother or sister. Okay. So Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail were Peter's siblings. Is this right or wrong? Yes. Correct. Right. They were Peter's siblings. So we will select true. Next one. Peter ran behind Mr. McGregor waving a rake and calling out stop thief. Peter ran behind Mr. McGregor, waving a rake and calling out, Stop thief! Is it right? Was Peter running behind Mr. McGregor? What was the story? Peter enters Mr. McGregor's garden. Peter eats the vegetables there. And when Mr. McGregor sees him, he runs behind Peter shouting, Stop thief! So, who is running behind Peter? Mr. McGregor. So, this sentence is wrong. Yes, it is false. So, I am going to click the option false. Understood children? Actually, in the lesson, Peter is a naughty bunny. He doesn't listen to his mother and he enters Mr. McGregor's garden. He heats the vegetables there. Yes. And when Mr. McGregor caught hold of him, he runs behind him waving a rake and calling out, Stop thief. So it is Mr. McGregor who calls out, Stop thief to Peter and not the other way. So the sentence given here is false. So we have to select false by clicking on it. Okay, are you all understanding? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. While running, Peter got caught in the cucumber frame. What happens when Peter is running and Mr. McGregor is running behind Peter? He gets caught somewhere. Where does he get caught? Does he get caught in the cucumber frame? No, he gets caught in the gooseberry net. Yes, do you all remember? Are you all able to recollect? Peter is running and when Mr. McGregor is chasing him, he runs and he gets caught in the gooseberry 
net. So this sentence, while running, Peter got caught in the cucumber frame is false. So we we'll click on the answer by selecting that option. Next one, Peter rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. Peter rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. Yes, while trying to save himself from Mr. McGregor, Peter is running into a tool shed. Yes, and there what he sees, he sees a can, he jumps into the can. So this statement is true. So let's select it by clicking on it. So Peter rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can is true. Okay, so let's move to the next one now. Select the correct answer for the following questions. Now some questions are asked. You have to select the answer to that question by just clicking on it. Okay, the first question is, who was Naughty Rabbit? Who was a naughty rabbit? Was it Mopsy, Cottontail or Peter? Who was a naughty rabbit? Yes, Peter was a naughty rabbit. So we'll select Peter by clicking on it. Yes, we'll click on the answer Peter so that gets selected. The next one, what was Mr. McGregor planting? What was Mr. McGregor planting? When Peter enters the garden, he sees that Mr. McGregor is planting something, right? What was he planting? Cabbages, French beans or lettuces? He was planting cabbages, correct. Mr. McGregor was planting cabbages. So, we will select cabbages by Clicking on it. Yes. The next one. Where did Peter hide in the tool shed? Where did Peter hide in the tool shed? Yes. When Mr. McGregor is chasing him, Peter runs into the tool shed and he hides in a can, flower pot or wheelbarrow. In what does he hide? He hides in a can. So let's select can. We'll select can by clicking on it. Understood children? Yes. Next one. What was Mr. McGregor hoeing? What was Mr. McGregor hoeing? Cabbage, onions or blackcurrant? What was he going? When Peter gets onto the wheelbarrow, he sees Mr. McGregor going something. What was it? Onions. So let us click on onions and select it. Who did Peter ask for directions to the gate? Who did Peter ask for directions to the gate? When Peter is trying to save himself from Mr. McGregor, he is lost in his garden. Peter doesn't know which way to come out of the garden. So, he sees a animal there and he is asking that person how to come out, which is the way, where is the gate to go out of this garden. So, who was that person whom Miss Peter asked? Who was the person whom Peter asked the directions to the gate? Was it the mouse, the sparrow or Mr. McGregor? Whom did he ask? Did he ask Mr. McGregor? Did he ask the sparrows or did he ask the mouse? Yes, Peter asked for directions to the gate to the mouse. So we will select mouse by clicking on it. We will select mouse by clicking on it. Understood? Let's go to the next. P 
Peter got caught in a dash while escaping from Mr. McGregor. Peter got caught in a dash while escaping from Mr. McGregor. When Peter is trying to save himself from Mr. McGregor, then he gets caught in something, right? Where does he get caught? He gets caught in a gooseberry net. He gets caught in a cucumber frame. Or he gets caught in the tool shed. He gets caught in the gooseberry net. Yes, he gets caught in the gooseberry net. So I'm going to select gooseberry net by clicking on it. I'm going to select gooseberry net by clicking on it. Next one, the mouse was carrying dash in her mouth for a family. The mouse was carrying dash in her mouth for a family. When Peter gets lost in the garden. He is not getting the way out of the garden. He doesn't know where the gate is. He sees a mouse. And he is asking the mouse, where is the gate to go out of the garden? At that time, the mouse was carrying food for her family in her mouth. What was the food that she was carrying? Was she carrying peas and beans or potatoes and radish? Of French beans. What was there in the mouse's mouth? Yes, she was carrying peas and beans for her family. She was carrying peas and beans for her family. So we will select it by clicking on it. We are selecting peas and beans by clicking on it. Yes, now the next one. When Peter got caught in the net, Dash came up to him in excitement and begged him to save himself. When Peter gets caught in the gooseberry net, okay? Someone comes to him in excitement and begs him to save himself. Who was that? The sparrows, the mouse or Mrs. Rabbit? Who comes to him? Sparrows. Correct. The correct option is sparrows. So who comes? When Peter gets caught in the net, sparrows come up to him in excitement and beg him to save himself. Okay, so we will select sparrows by clicking on it. Are you all understanding children? Did you all understand? Yes. We will be having multiple choice questions in our online exam. Each question will have multiple options. That is three or more answers. You have to select the correct answer by clicking on that answer. Yes, there won't be any answers to type. You don't have to do any typing. You don't have to write anything. You just have to click it and the answer will get selected. Yes. You have to read the lesson thoroughly. Read the lesson thoroughly. You need to know the characters in the lesson, the role played by each of them, the dialogue spoken by each of them, the actions that they have done so that you can answer any MCQ that is asked. Okay, children, did you all understand? Practice. These are just some example questions. Your paper, you will have questions based on this. Okay? Yes? So keep practicing and all the best. The next class, we will do the revision of chapter 2. Okay, children? Bye!